A day of sorrow and remembrance at the Armenian Martyrs Memorial near Los Angeles. All day long, families came to pay their respects, laying flowers to commemorate the dead. But this was also a watershed day for Armenian Americans, as U.S. President Joe Biden officially declared the mass killing of Armenians under the Ottoman Empire during the First World War as genocide. I think the whole Armenian community is saying, like, uh, really thank you for him to pronounce uh, as a genocide. So we, uh, we so appreciate it. The finally, uh, the justice is coming. I'm so happy that uh, President Biden made the statement today. And uh, I wish my parents were alive to hear this and see this. My mother and her family did go through the, walking through the desert in Syria. Uh, they killed her father, my mother's father. Uh, my mother's youngest sister died. Biden's statement said, we remember the lives of all those who died in the Ottoman era Armenian genocide and recommit ourselves to preventing such an atrocity from ever again recurring. Previous presidents avoided use of the term for fear of angering NATO ally Turkey. And indeed, Turkish officials lashed out, summoning the U.S. ambassador to lodge a protest. And Foreign Minister Mevlet Cavusoglu declaring, words can't change history. We won't take any lessons about our own history from anyone. Turkey has fiercely denied the mass killings of 1,500,000 Armenian men, women and children was an act of genocide, saying the deaths were the result of warfare. In Istanbul, many people rejected the genocide label. No such thing ever happened. During a war, things happen on both sides, so it's meaningless to describe it like that. Our relationship with the U.S. is already really bad, and this will only worsen it. U.S.-Turkey relations have frayed in recent months. As a candidate, Biden declared the Turkish president Recep Tayyip Erdogan as an autocrat, and his administration has pressed Ankara to stop human rights abuses. In the Armenian capital, Yerevan, people marched and cheered, and the country's leaders applauded Biden's statement. Many Armenian Americans here say the terrible events of more than a century ago are like a festering wound that never heals, no matter how many decades have passed. We grow up, you know, uh, uh, you know, with, with the, the, the stories uh, that have been passed down from survivors the story of survival. So much trauma and it's, and it's, and it's uh, multi-generational trauma. But some say for them, the president's words have shifted something. A sense of relief because it's, it's out in the open. It's been acknowledged by Biden. Now, perhaps, there can be some measure of healing. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Montebello, California.